Hello and welcome back everybody, I'm One Proud Bavarian, now with a more balanced sound, I hope. And we're back as Bayreuth, and we just conquered quite a bit of land. We've already caught it, I believe, and that puts us into a pretty good starting position. You know, it's uh, important, I think, in these games to get started early when it comes to the expansion. And we got Seinsheim, which was Schwarzenberg, and then we got land from Bamberg over here, who apparently owns land down here. I mean, more power to them. You know, they still exist, so that's pretty good, I suppose. Salzburg is getting destroyed by Munich. Jesus. Ingolstadt. Well, this is all Ingolstadt, I see. So you got Ingolstadt, you got Landshut, and you got Minge. You got München. Uh, are we allied? Yes, we are, actually. We are also allied. Okay. Good that the Wittelsbacher aren't fighting each other. Otherwise, we would have to pick a side, and I would rather not, I'll be honest with you. Total development grown by at least 50. I think we started at, like, 32. Oh, that's still a bit to go. Huh? You're not a free city. You're only allied to Würzburg. Oh, I remember this. So, we are improving relations up there. I want to build a spy network here and in Würzburg, unless we already got claims on Würzburg. I don't think we do. Let's also stop it over here. Jousting tournament. Jousting tournament. We can feel it in the wind. Soon our equestrian elite will be taken to the field as the chivalrous tradition plays out before the nobility of our nation. The world is changing. The world is changing, but for now, let the Knights of Bayreuth ride. Forward to glory, which costs us administrative power and splendor. I mean, we're not really earning any splendor. Because we're not fulfilling any of these. We need to conquer more for this one. Uh, we will never get this one. Training bonus. I don't know how that works. Embrace institution, we can do that. Yeah, okay. A large city, so we want to develop them. Oh, they, these are just the standard ones, aren't they? So we want to develop Bayreuth, I believe. Uh, 51, 51. Right. Forward to glory. Or we do no need. Uh, I don't think this is worth it. So we're just going to lose the prestige, I'll be honest with you. Don't think that is an event that at the current moment... Oh yeah, and I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about Saxony. Holy shit, Saxony. What are you doing? National epic. Our subjects have taken to telling tales and legends about Friedrich the Third von Hohenzollern. The legend says that in... Wait, but what? Who's... Who's Friedrich III? Is that like my ancestor? On home in Solon. The legend says that in Bayreuth darkest hour he will uh, return to our nation and deliver it from evil. Might be my father? I'm not sure though, to be honest. Regardless of the truth on that statement, we could use this in our propaganda. Yes, and we gain prestige, or no, we lose prestige. I'm gonna do this one. That's fine. That's barely any investment for some sweet prestige i'm looking to get these techs asap because of the military tactics mostly saxony sure take this and i want to learn something here give me the army of my rival Würzburg has 8k as well so that would be a struggle if we were to fight him what's our current it's eight uh build limit is eight quite unfortunate do we have a claim on you already? We do, actually. No, we don't. I am not very attentive today. Declare war on you for... Yeah, rivalry. Oh, Würzburg. <laughs> Würzburg. <laughs> I don't think I noticed that last episode. Oh, that's so great. And I think that Saxony is finally getting this under their control. Quite embarrassing, if you ask me, how long this went on. I think I will vote yes for the Patrum Calixtinum. Gellenhäuser Urkunde. Mm. Yes. Statutum Principum. Yeah. Uh, no. Don't think I want to vote for this. Holy Order Expansion. Orders can often be theoretical things, especially... Oh yeah, we've, we've seen this before. So, the Teutons. We could expand the Holy Register. We could give air. Accept the new status quo. Gain one base manpower and the Teutons gain the province over here. They currently have barely any influence, so I might as well say yes. Because I do like the base manpower in Zinsheim. This is now a Teuton area. 
It appears, there you go, yeah. Saxony, Jesus. They lost the battle over there. Are you serious? Like, ugh. They could have won this war so many years ago. And I mean that. I mean years. Somebody asked uh, if there's a point in donating to the order. Conscript elite brethren. Probably. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure myself. It's just like one of those normal orders these days, I assume. Like one of the normal estates, I mean. Nothing too interesting in them. We have a lot of uh, loyalty here, so we might as well lose some of the loyalty. Give me military support, I think. That is what I need here. Also, the music is now excruciatingly quiet. Got an offer from Celia? I don't think so. Make a generous donation. Okay. Demand administrative support. Clergy influence is 25 or greater. So... Mm, can't even get it to... No, I can get it to 25 or greater. If I do seek support of the clergy, they would gain... We would lose legitimacy and prestige. Mm. Yeah, I think we're going to do this. And then I'm going to do demand administrative support. Oh, we just, just can't do it. So I think I'm going to make a donation because I want the points, okay? I need the points. Uh, why did I not do it earlier? Because if it was 59 minus 20 is 39 and 39 makes them rebellious. I don't want that. The burgers currently not really... I would give them influence. I think I want to do that actually. And now we do... Oh no, they don't have enough influence. Well... <laughs> anyway, we got some more power. I think in the military area and in the diplomatic area. Was it administrative? Yeah, it was administrative, actually. There should be a stable government. Several of the leading members of the government are deeply worried about some changes proposed to how the realm should be ruled. They demand to stop such outrageous... ...reforms based on our trite and proved traditions, naturally avoiding mentioning how the changes would impact their own power base. Accept the demands or lose prestige, man. Alright, let's accept the demands. Not happy about that one, but I really want to go for the tech here fairly early on. Because the temple will give us uh, tax modification and I think that is something we're definitely interested in. How's the army professionalism going? I think that's fine to keep it on the current level, which is what I'm interested in. And now we set down the... Excuse me? There you go. Now we put this down so that we can get some more money. We can... Actually, I will not stop doing this. I will take... And now it's so loud again. These songs are so differently uh, balanced in volume. I will fabricate a claim on Castel, of course. Now we can stop looking into their affairs and instead focus on Würzburg. Let's get a claim on Würzburg itself. I don't honestly. So here's my here's my idea, okay? I would like to call in Saxony against Würzburg. And I would be absolutely willing to give them Wild back. No, no doubt about it. Oh, you, you don't like to do that? Is in debt. Jesus. Oh, they have so many allies. But if I were to declare on you instead, I would only fight you and Würzburg. But nobody would like to join me. So we'll have to take a look into managing that. I think we're doing fine on all other fronts at the moment. Earning some good money as well. Maybe you want to even... Hire somebody to support our Monarch point gain here. Meissen against Folkland. Oh, Folkland still exists. Hmm. How are you doing, Ansbach? Hello with Bohemia still. Ugh, I hate... I hate that. Did you actually take anything down here? Doesn't... Doesn't really look to me like you did. Hmm. We should bring up other countries to 150 so that we can then go on to fulfill this mission that will give us some diplomatic reputation for 25 years. High income, don't think we're gonna make that soon. New Pope. Alright. 
and bash has a negative opinion of us although not really significant okay we are voting as for all of this can you tell me this is for the reform what 326 princes i don't are these 326 nations am i completely underestimating one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, three, four. So twenty-four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh wow. It is actually a huge amount. Isn't it? And uh, we should wait for a few months so that it ticks down to like minus ten or something. Oh. I uh well, probably should have noticed that, huh? Fuck. Well, no help. Can't even... Yeah, fuck. Can't even properly defend it here. Did at least take that back now? I... Ugh. Just didn't notice that the rebels were coming. Play without... Taking a look at the actual game. That's not how that is supposed to work. And they got the fault. I'm so mad at life. What? Their morale is so much higher. Are you kidding me? How? How on earth? What just happened? Oh my god. Now we have double 10 years here. What is this? Cool. Ah. I'm an idiot. Well, uh, I deserve this, without a doubt. I will just try to head over here, to be honest. No, 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 don't go there. Just siege this, siege this down, thank you. This is going terribly. And I need the military tech, absolutely need it. Desperately need it. In order to do anything here. Oh my god, please stop. Ah, oh, I feel so bad about myself. You know, these are the moments where you just look at yourself and you're like, yep, these are the mistakes I made. What's our morale now? How is their morale so freaking high? Holy shit. Okay, let's just try it. If we get lucky, we might actually make it. We do, yeah, we did, we did make it. Terrible. Terrible. Everything about it. And it's more all my fault. I'm not blaming the game or anything. Uh, profiteering in Bamberg. The citizens of Bamberg have grown tired of the local influence of greedy Riedberger merchants that they claim are using unfair advantages to outcompete local businesses. They demand that we step in to limit the influence of foreign traders on the area and reaffirm the privilege of our own merchants and artisans. If we do not act, they might take matters into their own hands. We're already facing the next rebellion. No, this is still this rebellion. That's fine. We must protect our trade. Uh, I think so. I think we're going to do that, yeah. Now let's siege back this. God damn it. Ah, uh, well. In this game, you oftentimes make mistakes and you fall down and you have to get back up again and earn it all. And I think we are in a position to do that without any major issues. I'm going to give ourselves a boost here. Although I've already seen that the next hacks are already at, like, who has these? We're level 36. Yeah, I suppose the really big... What's up with England? Oh, they have a terrible king. They have a zero, zero, zero. Yeah. I, I understand, it makes a lot of sense. This is the vanilla hearts. Uh, vanilla. Your opponent's style is four stars, so. Okay. Lindau. Let me take a look at that before. Let me actually just seize this back, please. One more tick. Actually, I will just take a look at the war first. I think that is more important here. Right, sure. I can help you because then you will owe me favors. And uh, we'll be able to do some funny stuff here. Some funny business. Jesus, my morale is terrible. These these rebels, 
are shredding me. Come on, just siege it. Dude, are we the unluckiest people on this world? Oh my god. Okay, thank you. And I, I completely forgot, by the way, to uh, justify down there. Excuse me. To justify some claims here. So let's do that right now. In Wildberg. And then in Heidingfeld. And then I'm just gonna stop this. Now we're ready for the next... And I'm dead. I'm an idiot. Saxony, please help. Uh, well, now that went... Something that isn't amazing. Uh, am I bad at this game? Honestly, yes. I'm running on a 5 speed. I think that's a major mistake. Shouldn't be doing that. But Saxony is winning the war and we will be getting... Their thanks... By helping them. By helping them, I mean by dying. The house of von Hohenzollern is shaken. There seems to have been a misunderstanding regarding the heritage of the great-grandmother of Johann IV, the alchemist. It seems that she was the daughter of a lowly farmer from outside Bayreuth. Acknowledge the facts or just lose legitimacy. I think that is what we're going to do here. And I'm just going to head over here. And the, the war's already over, so... Do we actually get 17 favors? Let's go. This is the time. 17 favors. So here's the here's the plan, right? I want to declare war on... I actually want to declare war on you now that I think about it. Thank you. And I will call in Saxony. I don't even have to promise you any land. I don't want land to begin with. And Würzburg will, will say yes. And then there you go. So this should be a pretty easy war. I'm going to hold my troops back, of course, in the hopes that Saxony does, you know, its magic. And I think it is doing its magic. Oh, absolutely not. Do not, do not dare killing me. I'm just going to go and be down there for the time being. No siege down, something completely worthless. Because why not? <laughs> Trade League disbanded. Byron occupied Heidingsfeld. Sweet. I hope that they give me right uh, control of it that... Oh, come on. Saxony always does this. Why? <sighs> Saxony, please. So they're going to take this as well, aren't they? Oh, that's painful. Man, that's painful. That's that's classic AI for you, I, I suppose. At least they gave me Castell. That's pretty good. But I do have claims on these provinces, so... Why shouldn't they be giving them to me, right? That's my logic. I would be okay with them piecing out earlier if I just keep the war going. That sounds alright to me, personally. Come on, just get it done. But man, what an asshole AI, straight up. Rotenburg has joined a trade league, sure. You do you, buddy. We could donate to the Teutonic Order, so let's see. Foreign donation, we get Papal Influence. Which is very limited in this mod, I believe. We get 0.56 each year. That's practically nothing. Uh, obviously, that is because there's so many Catholic nations at the start, at least. So this is definitely a way to get into the pocket of the church. But I am not interested in that. I, I think we have different worries. For example, building up. Oh, we barely. Okay, let's wait one more month. Almost. What is going on over here? Nordgar Pretender Rebels. So that would mean that they would become independent of Denmark. Uh, which I'm a big fan of. So I will support them in, in their struggle there. Oh, they actually flipped it. Holy shit. If I could take these three, I would be perfectly fine. I don't, wa I don't want Wilt back. I would even give Wilt back to uh, Saxony. Seriously. So I would like these. Oh, Saxony does not actually want it. So we could take all of these, but then, oh, fudge. Yeah, that's that's too many. Oh, we can't, no, we can take one. Can't take two. Can't take Wurzburg either. So let's just annex Castell then. And, because we're at it, let's get some money. And have them... What? Oh, okay. No, okay, I understand. You, you give me money. And then I will, you will break all of your allies, uh, alliances, I mean. Yes. 
all of these, please. This this is my offer, and then war reparations. So we just need to siege this down, and then we'll be able to actually go through with this, which I'm a big fan of. Bayreuth occupied kissing and wait. Did somebody just announce me as their rival? Nordgau. Oh, Nordgau is free now. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to pick a rival. So yeah, Nordgau doesn't like us. They have the local dynasty. They are Bavarian, and I think we're gonna push into them in the in the future when our aggressive expansion ticks down a bit. Uh, but for the moment, yeah, this is a, an amazing amazing deal here. We're gonna have a separate peace deal with them, taking no land but taking a lot of money, high income. Uh, this gives us construction. Yeah, whatever, dude. And then I will give Castell the boot. There you go. Get annexed some. And we've done it. Time to call Castell. We do have free advisor slots. But I don't think we can... I don't think we... Oh! My headset just fell down from my head. What is this? Supply limit modifier, local recruitment time... No, I think what we want is either trade power or taxation. So let's take a look here. Plus one three is the best we can get. Plus two seven eight is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you. Wunsiedl is a, is a great, great province. But I think, all things considered, that the tax income should be worth more for the moment. We're gonna go next with uh, the other one. So let's bump down our army maintenance and our fort. And we've done a good job. Thank you, Saxony. Uh, I was uh, glad to, to do that with you. And Würzburg was showed the consequences of their actions. We're making good money for the time being. And you know what? I think that does warrant actually employing one of these people. Stability cost or yield uh, inflation reduction or diplomatic. Okay, land force limits. I, I, I'm not really... I think the inflation reduction may be the best choice here because we do have some inflation and this way we can limit it to a reasonable degree. I think great, great activity, great progress in this episode as well. Only one episode, uh, two episodes in and we've already expanded quite nicely with Castell being the next big thing here. Schwarzenberg, that takes a lot of time to rebel, you know that? Right. Is anybody already sitting on 37 here? No. Foreign trade competition rises. Trade was heavily regulated during this era. Okay, we've seen this before. And I will take the mercantilism, I think. The Diplo power is good short term, but I need the mercantilism long term to dominate Nuremberg. We could go to war with Nordgau, but we wouldn't be able to gain anything. First of all, we don't have a CB, obviously, but second of all... What's the point? The aggressive expansion limits us to an insane degree anyway. Let's take a look around what is happening around the world. The Teutonic Order and the Livonian Order are getting pushed in by Poland and Lithuania. Nothing new there. Styria and Austria have united and are the Emperor. And would be the Emperor if they held elections right now. Saxony would actually like to vote for me but still like voting for themselves more. So that's pretty good I suppose. I don't want to become Emperor, by the way. I have no interest in becoming Emperor. Would we have... Nope. No more troop. Uh, I will put up... Just speaking of it, I will put up the army maintenance to get these people filled up. This army filled up, I mean. Just so that we would be ready if anything were to happen spontaneously. Oh, actually, there's, there's some in the reserves here. Castell is now a core. That is very, very nice. Fulda, no. I'm, I'm just not interested in these teeny tiny provinces. I, I don't really want to defend them. There's no proper reasoning behind it. It's just, it seems unnecessary to me. Uh, other than us being like... <laughs> almost a bastard, yeah. I feel like we're having a good time with uh, Johan. Now, Charles is fairly young, so when Albrecht Ernst von Hohenzollern will gain power, we will be in a very, very good position. Global dominance. Yeah, the trade is, isn't going too hard here. We, are, we have 7% now. That's reasonable. 
zwei Brücken. Na, wo ist das? Excuse me? Was ist das? That's just a lot of different people? I assume so. Maximize profit is what we're currently doing. We could do hostile trading or we do establish communities. I don't think so. I don't think any of these interest us. What we do have interest in though is the marketplace here. Please, yes, Woonsiedl. Give me more monetary value out of my great textiles, uh, textiles production. And I know the years are flying by, but you know, we just gotta go a bit slower here based on the coalition map. We're at 30, yeah. So we gotta let it cool down because 30, I think, I might be wrong, I thought 40 or 50 are when they start. Wait, did he just die? No, okay. Okay, it was just the effect we had momentarily. Oh no, he gained it, didn't he? Ah, oh, he's shitty. Great expectations. We've seen this before. We've gained some corruption. And we're gonna do that again and then push it down quickly by rooting it out really fast. One per year, please, if we can. Right, that's fine. Princess Concert Rosemary has tragically died. Well, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Sorry to say. Assassination of a noble. Noble families were the bulwarks of power during these times. Assassination of a powerful house leader was seen as a critical plow uh, to those families' fortunes. As time marches on, some noble houses might see their fortunes rise, while others could lose all their power. The resulting envy would often result in rivalries and even murder. Lose legitimacy or administrative power. An ability, right? Can't, I mean, we could demand levies, but I don't think it's worth it. So I don't want to lose that legitimacy. Lose the administrative power instead. It's very painful. But, you know, these events are supposed to be painful. You got to get through it. So it is what it is. And for an entire year, we're going to build down on the corruption here. In hopes that it uh, doesn't harm us too much. We're losing money, actually. Jesus. Yeah, there's quite a bit of money we're losing. We're also losing inflation, though. I'm gladly taking that. Uh, I think that was part of our advisor here, right? Yeah, that's that's the good stuff. Going down on inflation is ex incredibly important to me personally. Still only have one option. Is that just how it is? You only have one option. What determines it in this mod? I have no clue how that actually works. But that is going to be a learning experience, as will everything be here in... Uh, this mod because I haven't played it. It's just it's just so sophisticated that sometimes I just sit here and I'm like I don't know how any of this works, but I welcome that. You know, have you ever had this effect where you just said that you were like, I have no clue how that works, but I appreciate that being the case. Because it just means that you will be learning stuff instead of just, you know, just doing things oh now I do this, and then I have to move on to that over there, and etc, etc, right? That's kind of boring. The good stuff is when uh, you manage to do things. Right. When you manage to do things that uh, just kind of work out, you know? Nordka, you, you want to you wanna go rumble? You're allied with Denmark, so you revolt from Denmark, right? And then you ally with them, are you serious? You can't be real, yeah. Mm. Saxony would join in again, simply because they like us that much. I think I want to farm money over putting up army professionalism. Unfortunate that I have to choose between the two, but that is just your role as a miner. And if we want to expand fairly quickly, then that is exactly what we're going to have to do. And holy crap, it's already 30 minutes into the video. <clears throat> Let's take a look at some map modes. Oh, her side is spreading around. Bohemia has accepted it. I don't like that. Bohemia, I don't feel so good. Let's take a look at cultures. So, yeah, we are currently here spending over most of Franconian culture. I think, I mean, at the moment, we are already pretty much what is can be considered Franconia, I guess. I mean, it's nah, it stretches out way more than I thought, actually. Then again, it stretches even out, like, it, they want us to hold stuff that is, you know, Frankfurt, or the Duchy, uh, I mean. Let me just quickly pull.
pulled it up. Yeah, it goes way f further west than the official Franconian culture. But then again, if you want to be culturally dominating, you have to have all of that stuff. I would like to unite that culture long term, but that will require some wars that we are currently not able to do. So let's not sweat that at all. We have one Bavarian province. Estates. Yeah, we only really give our stuff to the Teutonic Order. And then the nobility got some. Rebel types. Moravian heretics, please don't. <laughs> please don't do that. Dynastic. Oh! This is what I was looking for earlier, and I just couldn't find it. I'm very not smart. How did I not see that? So, interesting. Let's look at this stuff. Hohenzollern, obviously, around here, and then uh, down here as well, I believe. Yes, Zollern. There you go. Then we have the von Wittelsbacher here and over here as well. Uh, von Habsburg. Oh. Yeah, so they are, they are gonna... Excuse me, what's going on here? Fighting Poland. Oh, the Hungarians are attacking and it's just like... <laughs> destruction of each other. Uh, other than that... They already get married. They did not... But the rest, nothing too surprising. Stuart's still on the tro- Oh, von Wittelsbach, okay. <laughs> I don't- Is that historical? I don't think it is, but I might be wrong here. So I'm not even gonna pretend like I actually know. I don't think the von Wittelsbach ever were on the Danish throne. I would be extremely surprised. Von Wettin obviously still going on over here. Uh, the Ascania, von Welf still existing. Uh, nothing too surprising other than that. We got our little rivalry going here with Ansbach, and our relationship to Brandenburg is okay. You know, we don't hate each other, it's just... I, I really hate my small brother, eh? Hey, Achilles, who gave you that stupid name. Proud of been my parents, because they have good taste in names, you idiot. Alright, I will see you in the next episode, when we will hopefully spread our wings even further than just into Castell here. Thank you for tuning in again, and see you next week. Next episode, tomorrow, not next week. Until then, later.